Jay Gatsby is born with the name James Gatz, the son of poor farmers in Minnesota. He dreams of being rich, but he doesn't just want to get rich. He wants to seem like he was always rich, with the style, the manners, the clothes, and the way of talking of someone from the upper class. So he studies how to speak and have poise, even when he's poor. He runs away when he's 17 to seek his fortune. He goes to St. Olaf's College for two weeks, but he hates having to work as a janitor to pay for it, so he quits. He meets a millionaire named Dan Cody, who's on his yacht in Lake Superior, and he becomes Cody's best friend and right-hand man for five years. Cody dies, and even though he leaves Gatsby some money, Gatsby doesn't get it. When World War I breaks out, Gatsby joins the army and becomes an officer, and while he's in training at Camp Taylor in Louisville, Kentucky, he meets a rich young woman named Daisy. He falls in love with her, in large part because of her wealth and background. She represents the life he's always wanted. Because he has the uniform and acts like he's high class, it's pretty easy for him to pretend he's from the same class as her. They sleep together, and she falls in love with him. But they can't get married because he doesn't have any money to support her. Even when she finds this out, she doesn't leave him, but waits for him when he goes to war. In the war, he performs heroically and gets promoted to major. When the war ends, he gets sent to Oxford to study for five months along with some other officers. Daisy gets tired of waiting and needs to move on with her life, so she marries a rich man named Tom Buchanan. She has some regrets, especially when she gets a letter from Gatsby the day before the wedding, but her friends pull her together and she carries on. Gatsby gets to Daisy's town when she's left for her honeymoon. He's completely broke, he has no money even for food, and he has to wear his uniform. He meets Meyer Wolfsheim, an organized crime leader, who sees Gatsby as useful because he acts high class. The two make millions together selling grain alcohol and doing other illegal things. Gatsby buys a palace on Long Island Sound, across the bay from Daisy's house. He hosts lavish parties every night, hoping she'll show up. When she doesn't, he starts asking people if they know her, finally connecting with Daisy's friend, Jordan Baker. Having found out from Jordan Baker that his neighbor, Nick Carraway, knows Daisy, he asks Nick to invite Daisy to tea. Nick agrees. Daisy, meanwhile, has a daughter with Tom, and she's unhappy because he cheats on her. Gatsby meets Daisy at Nick's house, and the two are embarrassed at first, but then they find out that they still love each other. They go to Gatsby's house, and Daisy starts to see Gatsby. Gatsby wants Daisy to tell Tom that she never loved him, so he and Daisy can start a new life together. On a very hot day, Gatsby visits the Buchanans with Jordan and Nick. Tom sees that Daisy is in love with Gatsby. They all drive into New York together and get a suite at the Plaza Hotel. Tom and Gatsby get in a fight, and Gatsby asks Daisy to say she never loved Tom and that she's leaving him. Daisy does say this at first, but Tom reminds her of some of their memories together, showing that it's not really true that Daisy never loved him. She loved both of them. Then Tom accuses Gatsby of being a criminal, and confronts Daisy with some of the facts he's dug up about the illegal liquor sales. Now Daisy doesn't want to leave Tom anymore. Tom knows he's won, so he sends Daisy back home with Gatsby in Gatsby's car. Daisy drives, and on the way back, she hits and kills Myrtle Wilson, who happens to be Tom's lover. Daisy doesn't stop, and Gatsby finishes driving her home and hides the car. Gatsby has trouble admitting that he's lost Daisy, and he waits outside Daisy's house all night, but she doesn't come out to see him. Myrtle Wilson's husband, George Wilson, finds out Gatsby's address from Tom, and believing that Myrtle was sleeping with Gatsby, and Gatsby was the hit-and-run driver, he sneaks into Gatsby's yard and shoots him while he's lying in his pool. Then he kills himself. Hardly anyone comes to Gatsby's funeral. Gatsby is a very appealing character, because he has a lot of style, and because he is so driven by this dream of being upper class that he becomes a millionaire and has this remarkable lifestyle but he can't get Daisy, and he actually dies trying to get her back. Gatsby's problem is that it's not enough for him to be rich now. He doesn't care about the parties or the lifestyle. He needs to reach back into his past and start a life with Daisy at the moment he met her. Because that moment, when she was young and innocent and rich, and when he was young and full of promise, that was the moment when he needed to be a rich kid. But he can't change the past, and the reality is that Daisy does get married, and sort of loves her husband and has a life with him. Gatsby can't undo that, so his need to go back to the past is what kills him.
For more information about The Great Gatsby, check out The Great Gatsby Sparknote on sparknotes.com.